Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a skincare kind of video for you um, using all of my ordinary products that I've recently purchased. Um, so I've got nothing on my skin, I've just had a shower and washed my face. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how I use the products and what they are and what they're for and everything like that. So I'm going to start out with the products that I use every day. Um, and I have very dry, dehydrated skin. I've only been out of the shower about 15 minutes, but my skin feels so tight and dry. So the first product that I go in with um, is the Hyaluronic Acid, 2% um, plus B5. Um, and this is a hydration formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. Um, and it says apply a few drops to the face AM and PM before cream. So I use this twice a day. I use it in the morning and evening. And I'm just going to pull up the ordinary site just so I can have a bit more info for you. Um, so it's $12.90 Australian. You can buy all these products from The Ordinary's website or ASOS, Adore Beauty, Maya has a limited range. Um, this is a number of places. So I bought the, mine from ASOS and The Ordinary and Maya, I think. Um, so it says hyaluronic acid can attract up to a thousand times its weight in water. Um, the molecular size of hyaluronic acid determines its depth of delivery in the skin. This formulation combines low, medium and high, high molecular weight hyaluronic acid as well as next generation HA cross polymer at a combined concentration of 2% for multi-depth hydration. Um, it's also got vitamin B5 which enhances surface hydration. Um, so basically hyaluronic acid is found naturally in your body um, and it's a water soluble um, cell, I guess you could call it. Um, so all their products come with a dropper. So I basically just do one drop, one drop, one drop, and then a tiny bit on my chin. And then I just blend these in with my fingers. And I just mix it and keep rubbing it until it's completely into my skin. And it changes from like feeling quite wet to quite dry and sticky. I'd say I've been using this product for like two months. Maybe not, maybe six weeks. I don't know, but I really think that this has changed my skin as well as the other product that I use for my dry skin. And I don't get any like dry patches anymore. My skin oh, throughout the day stays nice and hydrated. It doesn't go like... Um, dry and flaky and things like that especially it's been winter here in Sydney so it's been really dry um, but I feel like my skin hasn't been that bad which is really good um, so that's all worked into the skin and then the next product that I go in with is the 100% plant squalene squalene something like that is $13.90 so it says, squalene is a saturated and stable hydrocarbon that is found naturally in the skin. It has very high emollients and is an exceptional hydrator and can pre prevent ongoing loss of hydration that impairs dermal suppleness. Um, and I also use this, um, well I use this day and night, but on the back it says, apply a few drops daily or as needed to entire face, ideally after water-based treatments. So this is a bit more of an oil, and I just do the same thing. And I just rub this in. I really think this has changed my skin as well. This really helps lock in the moisture all day. And it doesn't break me out or anything like that, even though it's an oil, I think because it's natural and it's plant-based. So I just keep rubbing until I feel like it's all blended in. And 
just makes my skin look really dewy and nice nice and hydrated and then the next product that I go in with every day is the salicylic acid 2% solution um, it says under here for blemish prone skin I wouldn't say that I have blemish prone skin but I definitely have like hormonal um, pimples that come up every couple of weeks so it's usually around like my chin area um, and I really think that this has changed um, how my skin reacts to pimples usually it takes weeks for them to go away um, and I usually get like the big red raised sore ones under the skin um, but if I use this I just so basically all I use is one drop on my hand and this goes a long way and then I just take my finger and anywhere I've got pimples I just tap this over the top And then I just let that soak in for a minute or two. Um, so on their website it says that this is 880 and you can get 15 mils or 30 mils. So I forgot to say their standard size is 30 mils. And you can see that I've gone through this. Um, and then this is the 15 mil. It's a bit smaller. So on the website it says salicylic acid is a beta hydroxyl acid that exfoliates the skin. This 2% treatment solution helps exfoliate the inside walls of pores to fight the appearance of blemishes and for better visible skin clarity with continued use. So I find that my pimples now go away after like two days of using this and the ones that I do have left are like completely flat like there's nothing there. So I really, really love this product. So that's what I use every day, morning and night. And then I go over it with my normal um, moisturizer and everything like that. But I'm just going to go talk about the products that I use every other day. Um, so this is the Advanced Retinol 2%. This is 1790. Basically... Uh, this is the only one of the only proven things that actually fight aging, um, the signs of aging. So I was using this, I was using this every day, but I've just found that it was too much for my skin. So I've now gone to using it like two or three times a week, and I think that's really helping. Um, so again, it comes in a dropper like that. It's yellow. None of these have like bad smell or anything. And then I just blend these in. And I definitely feel like my skin is looking more youthful and radiant since I've started using all these ordinary products. And they're so cheap. So cheap, honestly. You could, you could pay like $60 to $70 for something from like Clinique or Clarins or another luxury brand that may not work as well as these. And these are a third of the price, if that, like cheap as anything. So I really like this um, retinol. I definitely think my like lines around my eyes have improved a lot. And just overall my skin is looking more youthful. And then twice a week I go in with the um, AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. Um, so this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. And it's $14.30. Um, so alpha hydroxyl acids, AHA, exfoliates the skin's topmost surface for a brighter and more even appearance. Beta hydroxyl acids, BHA, also exfoliate the skin with an extended function to help clear pore congestion. Um, so this solution offers deeper exfoliation to help fight visible blemishes and improved skin radiance. Um, the formula also improves the appearance of skin texture and reduces the look of li fine lines with continued use. So I only use this twice a week. That's the maximum it says you can use this for. You can't use it more. I guess it's too harsh on the skin. And I definitely think that this has improved my skin's overall appearance as well. It definitely looks like a more even skin tone. 
brighter, um, my pores are looking less congested, everything like that. Um, I'm not going to demo it now because um, I only used it yesterday. Um, but basically it's pink. It comes out pink. And then you just rub it in. It does sometimes tingle or get itchy and stingy, but it goes away after a minute or so, so I persevere with that. Um, I haven't noticed that it's like caused any irritation on my skin or anything like that, which is nice. And then the last product from them that I use is the Niacinamide. 10% um, and zinc 1%. This is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So again, I don't have like acne prone skin or anything like that. Um, I just get like hormonal pimples. Um, and this is $9.90 and it says niacinamide vitamin B3 is indicated to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. A high 10% concentration of this vitamin is supported in the formula by zinc salt of pyrolodine carbolo carboxylic acid. Oh my god, this is so technical. To balance visible as aspects of sebum activity. Um, so this says apply to entire face morning and evening before heavier creams. Um, I do not do that. I use this maybe once a week. Maybe once a week. Um, I just basically, I would put it like anywhere that I have um, breakouts. Sometimes I do it all over my face, but not often because it's quite intense. Um, and then I wait for it to rub in. So I might use it today because I haven't used it for a while. I'm having a few breakouts. So I'm just going to basically just going to put it everywhere I have some pimples. And then I just rub it in. And you have to use this before you use like a moisturizer because it actually makes your pin, your skin um, kind of peel. So after it's dried, if you rub your fingers along your skin, um, it will start to peel off, which I guess is the point of this. Um, and that's it for the skincare part of it. Um, I definitely think that the Ordinary skincare is worth trying out. Um, I would say all of these six products probably came to like $70, which is so, so cheap for what you get. Um, I would definitely continue to use these products and I will be repurchasing all of them. I think they're amazing. Um, so I'm just going to finish off my skin. I'm going to use my L'Occitane... Um, Sheer Butter Moisturiser. This is the one that I've been using since I got back from my holidays. Um, it's great for winter because it's really hydrating. I also got from them, which I think I'm going to use in summer, um, their Natural Moisturising Factors plus HA, Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I've not tried this out so I can't really comment on what it is it's like or anything like that. Um, so this is also $9.80. Um, it says natural moisturizing factors are elements that keep the outer layer of the skin protected and well hydrated. Um, made up of multiple amino acids, fatty acids, triglycerides, urea, basically everything your skin needs, and hyaluronic acid. Um, it's non-greasy, acts as a direct topical supplement of impaired NMF components. Um, so I'm keen to try this out in summer. I think this will be good as a more lightweight moisturizer. I don't think it's enough hydration for me in winter. But I'm um, really excited to try that out. I'm just going to go continue on. Um, I recently got the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I've only used this once. Um, and I didn't have my makeup on for very long. So this is $13.90. Um, it's a lightweight surface smoother 
and primer with high flexibility silicones. Um, so it increases the spreadability of subsequent complexion makeup to help avoid the unnatural and uneven accumulation of pigments, especially around the eyes and on dry skin. Um, it also acts as a light, non-oily surface hydrator for a natural dewy look. And it says, use it as the last step in skincare as a makeup primer. So I'm just going to go in with this. And I love that all this is a dropper. Super cool. So this primer doesn't feel oily or greasy or anything like that. And I also got from them um, their foundations. So I've not tried these out, I've just swatched them. Um, so I'm going to talk, this is the serum foundation, which is a lightweight serum formula. So this is also 30 mils. It's $12.70 and there's this many shades. So a pretty good shade range, I would say. Um, and I got the colour 12Y, which is light yellow undertones. Um, so this is alcohol free, oil free, um, nut free, vegan, gluten free, everything like that. So it says serum foundations are lightweight, medium coverage formulations. Um, they offer moderate coverage, coverage that looks natural with a very lightweight serum feel. Very low in viscosity and um, come with a pump. I don't think I'm going to use this one today. I think I might go with the coverage foundation. So this is also 30 mils. It's also $12.90 and has the same shades. Um, so this is a full coverage formulation. Um, they contain higher pigment levels than the serum foundation but still offer a smooth finish that avoids the heavy makeup look. Um, it's lightweight, non-oily cream. And I got the colour 12YG, which is yellow undertones with gold highlights. Um, so I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand. Maybe that much. It does look a little bit light for me. But we'll just roll with it. And then I'm just going to blend this with my brush. So it gives good coverage. I wouldn't say this is full coverage. Medium to full. The colour is quite light, but we can fix that with bronzer, etc. It blends really easily. It's blending quite like easily over the top of the um, primer that we put on. I think the primer is helping the foundation move a lot more along my skin plus all the skin prep that we did before. So this is it all blended in. My skin looks really nice, like it's covered, there's little blemishes, it's covered, hasn't covered my nose pigmentation, but um, it's scar tissue on my nose, so not really many foundations cover that. Um, it blended really easily. The colour, I would say, it's just a little bit too yeah, I mean, I think for the price, like $13, this foundation is really good. Um, I know that they're quite hard to get a hold of, these foundations. Um, so your best, if you're wanting to try it out, check on the Ordinaries website. I think that's the only place at the moment that's selling the foundations. Um, I think they're available on ASOS or Adore Beauty or anything like that yet. So that's it for um, my skincare routine. I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face and I'll come back and um, show you the finished look. And this is the final makeup look. Um, so everything layered really nicely on top of the um, ordinary foundation. Um, I used a cream bronzer and powder bronzer, blush, highlight, everything like that. Um, and it, I think it looks pretty good, like my skin looks really nice. It's not like cakey, it doesn't look cakey at all. Um, it's really nice. It gives the skin like a nice natural kind of finish. It's not matte, it's not dewy. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then for the rest of the look, I just went like classic winged liner, red lips. Wanted to do something fun and pretty. 
Um, so that completes my skincare video using the ordinary products. Um, I definitely think that they're worth the money and um, if you want to try them then highly recommend picking them up. They're so affordable and they have such a wide range of products for everyone's skin needs. Um, they do obviously they do a lot more than the products that I've mentioned. They've got a whole range of stuff. Um, so definitely think that you guys should check it out if you want to. Um, otherwise that's it from me. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.